we finally acknowledge that not, not every acquisitive pharmaceutical company is another valiant. The drug company has been under a really dark cloud, caught between a blistering assault by the short sellers and Washington's war on higher drug prices. Consider Horizon Pharma, the much smaller $3.5 billion drug company buyer, it's a buyer, that's gotten most of its growth by making a series of acquisitions. Here's a stock that it's been trading like some sort of mini version of Valiant, hence why as of last Thursday, it was down 56% from its highs back in July, more than cut in half. But when Horizon reported on Friday, we learned that a company which has seven drugs on the, marketing tar on the market targeting unmet needs in pain, rheumatology, and rare orphan diseases actually managed to blow away the numbers. Yep, on Friday morning, Horizon reported a monster 34-cent earnings beat off a 40-cent basis, substantially higher than expected revenues that more than tripled versus last year, thanks both to new drug launches and the company's acquisition of Hyperion earlier this year. Plus, management gave some truly spectacular full-year guidance, which is why the stock shut up a monster near 22% on Friday, rather than another 6% today. Best of all, Horizon's generating these numbers not through ridiculous price hikes or channel stuffing, especially pharmas that it may control or may not, the main driver here is that doctors are writing more prescriptions for the drugs. In other words, Horizon's growth is organic and seemingly sustainable. Don't take it from me. Let's dig in deeper with Tim Walbert. He's the chairman and CEO of Horizon Pharma. Find out more about the quarter and his company's prospects. Mr. Walbert, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Thanks, Jim. Have a seat. Appreciate having All right, me. Tim, you spent a lot of time in your conference call, uh, and a lot of companies may have to do this, saying the reason why you're not valiant, and I know you got a big meeting, and one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this is because you do use specialty pharma, pharma distributors, right. but in a very different way from what Valiant is. And I think people should understand the difference. It's a great question. We've been asked, as you'd expect, right. many, many times. But ours is simple. The pharmacies we work with, whether it's a retail pharmacy, Walgreens, Dwayne Reed, you walk into, or a pharmacy that works through our PME or Horizon Cares program, they, they're one key goal. Doctor writes a prescription for our medicine because it has a clinical benefit and the pharmacy ensures they get it. They cut out the middlemen who have financial incentive to do so, and simply our role is to ensure that the patient gets what the doctor intended. Okay, you do not have, you have no ownership position or no anything ownership with, whatsoever. with any of these special, None. although they do do about 60% of this kind of work. For certain medicines. For certain medicines. Uh, they are involved in insuring. So what simply happens is, again, Doctor writes a prescription, patient gets it. If there's commercial coverage, we help with the copay to make sure the patient gets it for under $10. 96% of our patients are paying less than $10. If for whatever reason it's rejected by that managed care plan, we do the right thing for the patient, we give them the medicine free. Okay, that's important. Uh, now, I need to ask you about uh, when you take certain drugs that are just, you know, NSAID, or you know, it's a kind of a drug that we would take right. for anything, they cause stomach lining damage. Correct. You have a drug, but it's generic. You combine the two, right. and it works to combat the stomach lining problems. Right. How is that selling? When you look at Duexis and Vimovo, Duexis did $56 million in, in the third quarter. It's on track for, and on a run rate of over $200 million, and Vimovo's not that far behind. But importantly, you can't get the same benefits from two generics separately, and that's based on how physicians treat their patients. Less than 25% of the time, you go into an office, is a doctor going to give you a GI protective agent? Yeah. You're, you're, people are being treated for cardiovascular disease, diabetes, many other things. And, and for you get you're, something and for, for your, what you're treated. Right. For osteoarthritis or other autoimmune disease people may have. They're not thinking about the, the downstream harm that can come from taking your pain reliever. Yeah. So what happens is the doctor doesn't think about it. In the rare situation where a doctor says, okay, I'm going to give you a GI protective agent. After three prescriptions, 60% of those patients are no longer taking it. So in the end, less than 10% of patients are actually protected, and that's what leads to over 100,000 hospitalizations and almost 17,000 deaths each year in the United States. Why, why can't another pharmaceutical company knock that off? Because we did two significant trials in 1,500 patients. We've got over eight Orange Book listed patents for each of these medicines and their novel therapies that we took the time and spent over $100 million with each in either buying them or spending money to develop them. There's also a Valiant ethos difference. I think right. Valiant buys companies, they slash R&D. Right. You clearly must recognize that there's a, while there's some good things that you can buy, right. you also have to develop some great orphan drugs. Absolutely, and our focus and our strategy changed in September of 2014. When we bought Videra Actimune, we spent a little over 500 million for, to buy that product. 
But our whole focus in our orphan disease business, as we went through in our investor day today, is focused on developing these products right. for broader indications. With Actimmune into a neurologic disease called Friedrich's ataxia, where we can benefit up to 4,000 people. And these young kids actually are wheelchair bound in their early 20s and die in their 30s from cardiovascular reasons. We have a th treatment in Actimmune that's being studied. We'll have data late next year. And if, and if that data is good, we'll be able to benefit these patients. And that alone is a 500 to a billion dollar opportunity for our company. Now, I know that there's an ongoing, I don't want people to think I'm a softball, but there's an ongoing uh, acquisition you're trying to get done with that. Correct. But what's, and I know you can't talk about that. The right. law definitely, but it's, it's no different from when we had Allergan on. They right. can't talk about it. But you also said in your conference call and in your notes that you uh, aren't done. I mean, you'll buy other companies. This Absolutely. is not precluding you from doing that. Well, first of all, when it comes to Depomed, it's in the hand of the shareholders. Right. And they'll make a decision, and we feel good about where that's tracking. Secondly, from the standpoint of where our additional business development efforts are, we have $700 million on our balance sheet. We, as we went through today uh, on our call, we've got an ability to um, add over a billion dollars in incremental leverage. So we've got the capacity to finance transactions. We've guided that we're gonna announce at least one to two incremental transactions this year, and two to five on an ongoing basis each year from now through 2020 based on our long range plan. Excellent, well look, I, I'm just so glad. I mean, I, I feel badly that we have to spend half yeah. the interview saying that you're not valued, right. but I know that a lot of people confuse the two, and to me Correct. they should not be confused. Absolutely. Thank you very much. It's Tim Wolbert, Chairman, President, and CEO of Horizon Pharma. There's a ton of work on this one if you want to go study it. It's an incredibly transparent company. Mad Money's back in for the Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.